Hi there, Malcolm here with my sixth booktube video, and today is the Strike Back video of on day three. Answering the question of Guess what I of favourite fantasy reads? I must confess I'm more of a sci-fi buff myself and have really struggled getting into fantasy. I've read some fantasy, but I wouldn't actually say it. There's many favourites there, with the exception of one giant standout, which is the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett. Now, I consider every single book in the Discworld series to be of an extremely high standard, so it's very difficult for me to pick out any number of them as my best ones. However, I've picked one from each of the main miniseries within the series as a whole. Starting with Guards, Guards. I reread this one last year, and this was my favourite book of last year. So, spoilers for that video. A defunct police force of a sprawling metropolis have to deal with the latest threat, a dragon. This chronicles the first exploits of the Night Watch, featuring the such characters as Sam Vimes, Carrot Iron Foundesson, Nobby Nobs, and Sergeant Colon. In each subsequent book, the police force gets that little bit bigger with some new characters in it, but the adventures are just as good and enjoyable. And then there's the witches. I've picked Carpe Juglium, where the witches of Lanka have to deal with an incursion of vampires. Now this one's quite a few books into the series of the witches and the, there's been some certain character developments and some new witches added to the series. But as I've said, each one is a good strong book on its own. I just happen to pick the one with vampires in it. Next up is the Rincewind series. I've picked The Last Continent, where a hapless Rincewind, the failed wizard, finds himself in somewhere almost, but not entirely like Australia. As I said, Rincewind is a failed wizard who is always running away from trouble and finding himself in a whole load of new trouble. The first two books in the Discworld series are both Rincewind books, and each Rincewind book generally takes you somewhere new on the Discworld. You get to see new lands, new continents, new peoples, and new dangers for Rincewind to run away from, and for his psychotic luggage to eat. There it is. And then we have the Death series, where Death is an anthropomorphic personification. Wow, I said that on the first try as well. Uh, the Grim Reaper has taken an interest in the people he claims and has even adopted one or two. Despite the grim and morbid premise, these books are highly enjoyable and very clever. Soul Music, the one I picked here, happens to follow the first band to play music with rocks in. And finally, we have the third and final Moist von Litwick book, Raising Steam. And this one follows the charismatic Moist as he runs Discworld's first ever railway. I'll say of the lot, this is extremely contemporary in dealing with things such as terrorism and social inclusion. Really, I couldn't praise this one enough. And so that was my favourite fantasy reads. If you'd like to share your favourite fantasy reads with me, please leave your link or your list down below. And as always, if you have nothing nice to say, please keep it to yourself. Thank you. And now it's time for my booktuber shout out. And today I'm going to give a shout out to Sarah Ossie SFF. I'll leave her link down below. Go check her out. Until next time, see you later.